Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matador and we're here with another Grand Theft Audio V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to install your Crossroads Mansion inside your Grand Theft Audio V folder. So like always, make sure you download all the requirements that's in some of the description below. And make sure that your requirements is the latest version. Just to let you guys know that we are going to start this mod inside a clean GTA folder. So make sure you guys do listen and listen very carefully. I've got a request from someone that they wanted me to do this tutorial on how to install your Crossroads Mansion. So, like always guys, once you guys have downloaded all the requirements, we're going to get straight into it. Don't forget to download Map Editor as well, and even all the other requirements too. So, once you guys have finished downloading everything and the mod, go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now, as you guys can see, this is a complete clean folder. There's absolutely no mods in here. So we are going to install everything in there to make the mod happen. So since this is a clean folder, we need to open up our open IV. That's the most important thing you, we, that we must do is open IV. So, Open up your Open IV. Go to your Grand Theft Audio V Windows. Wait for a few seconds. It depends on your PC performance. Once the application is open, just go to your Tools, then go to ASI Manager, and then all you guys gotta do is install your ASI loader. Install your Open IV .asi. Then uh, this application will pop up. Just select Yes and then install your open camera. Now close the application and just minimize your open IV. Now as you guys can see, we have started here now. What we are going to do, okay, is that we are going to install our requirements. So make sure that you guys have the latest versions. So all you guys gotta do is open up your script hook V extract folder then go into your bin folder and select dinput 8.dll and script hook v.dll. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up. All you gotta do is replace your files. That's it. Now open up your script hook v.net extract folder and select scripthookv.net.asi.dll and .xml drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now we are going to install our trainers. Open up your trainer v extract folder. Select trainer v.asi and .ini and drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. And then open up your menu extract folder and select menu stuff folder and menu.asi. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This is optional, you guys can download it, okay? It's totally up to you. This will be inside my downloads, so download inside my downloads. Open up your map reveal and open interiors extract folder and select all three files inside that folder and drag it inside your Grand Theft Audio V main folder. Now that's all we're gonna going to do now guys. Go back to your Grand Theft Audio V folder, right click, refresh your folder. Right click again, create a new folder and name that folder scripts. S C R I P T N S. Press enter once and press enter again, and you will redirect to your scripts folder. 
Now, open up your native UI extract folder. Make sure that your native UI is version 1.7. So click on version 1.7. And then now, click on native UI.dll that's inside your extract folder. Make sure it is 1.7. And then drag it into your scripts folder. Now, that's all we're going to do now, guys, okay? The next thing we are going to do now is install Map Editor. So, open up your Map Editor Extract folder. I already got mine over here. Select all the files inside your Extract folder, except for nativeui.dll. Now, drag all the files inside there that is selected and now paste it into your scripts folder and now that's all you guys gotta do make sure that your native ui dot dll version 1.7 is inside your scripts folder now we are going to install our map builder now the first thing we are going to do okay before we do install map builder is that we need to come to over here now when you guys install this mod okay don't install it from here go over here and then click on this link and that link will redirect you to the website scroll down only just a little bit more until you see over here community props free you can pay for the mod if you want to but it's totally up to you. So go to community props free, click on that, and then now the only files that you guys have to download is game config package and the download over here. So download this and download this, and then that's all you guys gotta do. The download may take a while, about five minutes, okay? So just only Go and get yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and then now just sit down and just relax okay once you guys have finished your download i have already finished the download because i got it right here all you guys got to do okay is open up your gc package and then now drag your game config.oiv onto your desktop now the next thing we are going to do guys is go back to your open iv and now we've got my community props and my game config over here these are the two files we are going to connect to our open iv so all you guys got to do is go to your tools go to tools then go to package installer and then go to uh go to game config package and then go to open and then go to install and then install it into your mods folder and then confirm installation this installation may take about one minute or two minutes it all depends on your pc performance the game config package doesn't take long so it will take about one minute for me now we're back and it only took about one minute so all you guys got to do is don't run the game yet close your application go back to tools again go to package installer and then go to community props 1.06.oiv and open that file and then all you guys got to do is install and install it into your mods folder and then confirm installation now this installation may take a while like always it depends on your pc performance it may take about five minutes two minutes one hour two hours or even 20 minutes it all depends on your pc performance so i'm going to pause the video and i'll see you guys soon and now we are back it only took about five minutes for me to uh, complete this installation so the installation is now succeeded so all you guys got to do is just close the application 
and then now exit out of your open IV so now guys what we are going to do now is that we are going to install the mod yes we're going to install the crossroad mansion now all you got to do is open up the extract folder now there's two XML files in here what it says inside the website it says over here right down the bottom okay I recommend loading the cross no roof file first and then cross roof file so what we're going to do okay is that we're going to spawn no roof first and then roof okay so all you guys got to do is go back to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location now all you guys got to do next is copy both XML files and drag them both into your Grand Theft Auto V main folder that's all you guys got to do and now exit out of your extract folder and exit out of any files or folders or websites okay so you guys don't get mixed up okay now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh the folder then exit out of your Grand Theft Auto V folder then right click refresh your desktop and then I'll see you guys in the game and now we are back as Franklin and now what we are going to do is that I'm gonna go and stand over here because it's more room now guys like what I said on the website that we have to spawn the no roof first so that's what we're gonna do is that we are going to spawn the no roof first so to open the menu all you gotta do is press F7 and there we go go down to load maps then go down to file chooser then now no roof first listen up here so we're gonna wait for a while just wait for a while until it says down the bottom on your right hand corner loading model is finished okay now the map is now finished but the next thing we are going to do now is that we are going to load the next one press f7 again go to load map go to file chooser and this time choose cross roof dot xml wait for a few seconds to stand here for a few seconds until it's completed and now the map is completed so I think it's around here somewhere where is it so guys I finally found the mansion it took me a while to actually find it but um, I finally found it and it's it is on a really great spot so what we're gonna do guys is came is that I came and teleported here and I've been looking around over here and there was no mansion around here absolutely nothing around here but what I did okay is that I went to the website gta5mods.com and then uh, I just followed the website over here uh, and then now there goes the mansion it's over here so the mansion is just over there somewhere I think it's over here somewhere uh, so the mansion is over here this is where the mansion is guys so, so if you guys want to know where the mansion is I'll show you one, one more time the mansion is over here and that's where you guys got to spawn in teleport and that's where you guys got to teleport right there so press F8 and then now you will open up your menu and just teleport there and now guys we are here so the mansion is just right behind me but here we go guys in five four three two one and there goes the mansion just right there so that's where the mansion is guys okay it took me a while to actually try and find it but um yeah i actually found it so if you guys um do get stuck then let me know but this is the mansion guys but i'm very sorry i'm not going to go in it because it's just that um it's going to take the time of the video long 
because there is a lot of things to show you guys inside the mansion so if you guys want to see what is in the mansion okay um i highly recommend you guys downloading this mod okay but i will give you guys a quick snip of what is inside the mansion okay we've got a room in here we've got the top piece up here we've got uh like a light nice a nice outdoors um, outdoor living room over here um we've got another room in here and we've got over here there's another room nice this is a nice room um and yeah we got a few things in here uh down downstairs we got like another we got a kitchen and in here we've got a bathroom and a toilet we got a kitchen we got a dining room in here uh over here this must be the yeah this is to the garage and over here is just like a helipad or something or another garage oh yeah another garage down the bottom or some kind of oh yeah garage down here um and yeah and we've got a gym equipment up top up top so yes guys we've got another room over here this is the lounge and we've got uh another room over here for the boys and that's it i think what's in here this is to go outside and that's it yeah so that's the whole view okay guys i already showed you guys the whole view but if you guys want to actually stay in there okay then just download the mod okay and you guys will be really happy about it so i hope you guys do enjoy this mod because Honestly guys, this mod is an awesome mod and I really do love it. So guys, I hope you guys do like the mod, okay? But I'm very sorry, okay? I know I rushed through the house so fast. It's only because I do not want to make the video like 20 minutes or over 15 minutes, okay? Because I do not want to take your guys' time, okay, for the day. So uh, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys did, then smash the like button. And if you guys do uh, get stuck with this mod, okay, then please let me know, okay, I'm more than welcome to help you. And another news too is Map Editor only supports native UI .dll version 1.7, okay. That's why I put 1.7 inside my script folder because it only supports 1.7, okay, guys. So. Do not put 1.8 or 1.9 inside there because it will not work, okay? So, I hope you guys do enjoy this mod. If you guys did, please smash that like button. Subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. And I'm out.